We've got some breaking news to get to now in just the last couple of minutes. You know how the top Republican in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, got a concussion after he tripped and fell last week? We have learned in just the last minute or two he is now out of the hospital. NBC's Ryan Nobles is joining us now. He's been discharged, Ryan, but he's not headed home. He's actually headed to rehab for, like, physical therapy here. Yeah, that's right. And we're learning a, a new level of treatment that he is in need of, uh, a new injury, I guess, as you will, uh, if you would describe it as, as a result of this fall. Uh, so his office is now saying that he's going to be transferred to an inpatient rehab facility uh, before he's able to go home and that is because he's also being treated for a minor rib mm. fracture, which uh, was discovered Wednesday after this fall. So not just the concussion, but exactly. now we are learning that the same night that the concussion happened, that he tripped and fell, he also broke a rib. Right, right, which, uh, if, that's, if that's never happened to me, but I know people that it's happened to, that's a difficult recovery because you basically just have to be somewhat immobile just to allow the rib to heal. And it can also be extremely painful because every time you take a breath, uh, you can often feel uh, that injury. So uh, he's, of course, an 81-year-old man. I'm sure that this is something uh, that they want to be very cautious with. He was in the hospital for several days uh, as a result uh, of this injury that he suffered. The initial problem was, of course, the concussion. They wanted to monitor him uh, overnight uh, and through the next couple of days as a result of the concussion. But then he also now dealing with this rib fracture as well. So that means a period of time uh, that he'll be in this inpatient rehab facility. And we don't know how long, right? I mean, I mean, that's still a no. question mark. Well, you know, and the, and the one thing uh, that the uh, leader's office has decided to do is be very vague uh, about the things that are happening with him from a health perspective. And that could just be because they want to protect his privacy. It could be because they don't want to reveal too much. There could be any number of reasons for that. But this has been pretty consistent uh, over the course of the time that we've covered Mitch McConnell. This isn't the first time he's dealt with a health problem before. That's right. That's right. He fractured his shoulder when he fell at a different time. He's had heart surgery before. They only tell us exactly what we need to know about a current situation. Situation and, and that is appears to what's it be happening right now. Biggest priority, right, when there's any health issue for any member of Congress is the health of that member of Congress, in this case, Mitch McConnell, right? So we are learning more about that picture. There is a secondary question that comes in, which is the implications in the building that you cover, in the right. Capitol, just across the street from where we're sitting. And at this point, um, if McConnell is out for another week or two, likely to not have big impacts, right, yeah. on the business of the Senate. The question is, if it becomes prolonged, again, no indication that's right. going to happen. We just don't know. Yeah, I, from the very beginning, I've thought of this as a short-term impact and a long-term impact. The short-term impact in terms of just the number of votes on either side is minimal, right? I mean, there are currently two Democratic senators who are not able to participate in the day-to-day -day working of Congress, and that would be Dianne Feinstein of California, who's recovering right. from shingles, John Fetterman, who's still being hospitalized, uh, being treated for clinical depression. So the margins are, are basically even as a result of that. The longer-term issue is that there's no one more important for Republicans than Mitch McConnell. He drives the conversation uh, for the Republican caucus when it comes to a lot of these big-ticket things they're talking about. In just a couple of months, we're going to be dealing with the debt ceiling. That's there's, right. of course, a budget fight that's uh, coming. No one's more important to that uh, conversation on the Republican side than Mitch McConnell. So the longer he's out, the more difficult that becomes. Significant news tonight, though. Some answers about mm -hmm. Senator McConnell, rib fracture, concussion, out of the hospital, going to rehab. Still some questions unanswered. And we should also point out that they, they're encouraged by his recovery is one of the things they say. Which is significant. Uh, again, coming from his communications director, yep. David Pop. Thank you, Ryan Nobles. Appreciate yep. it. Appreciate you being on top of that. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.